Welcome everyone and thank you for listening to this broadcast. I'm Sir Jackson, stay blessed as I share the word of God with you people. As I um, turn to the book of Jonah, a text today is from the book of Jonah as I read from chapter 1. Now, the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cried against it, for their wickedness is come upon me. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord, and went down to Joppa. And he found a ship going to Tarshish, so he paid the fear thereof, and went down into it, to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Here is the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amatia. Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry it against it. But Jonah refused to listen to the word of the Lord. Jonah chose to run away from the presence of the Lord to Tashish. He saw a ship going down to Tashish. He paid the fear and joined the ship. And Jonah was running away from the presence of the Lord. Can you imagine that? God said, go to the city of Nineveh. And go and declare the word of the Lord. But Jonah refused and decided to pay a fear in a ship that is going down to touch. Verse 4. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea. And there was a mighty tempest in the sea. So that the ship was like to be broken. The Lord sent out a great mighty wind as the ship was going because of Jonah was in the ship. Then the mariners were afraid and cried every man unto his God and cast forth the wares that were in the ship into the sea to lighten it. They even jettisoned. You know what jettisoned is? To remove some of the, the goods from the ship. The container from the ship to cast them into the sea so that the ship would be lightened. But Jonah was gone down into the side of the ship and he lay and was fast asleep. Just imagine great tempest that the Lord has sent because of the sake of Jonah. He went down into the ship and was fast asleep. So the ship master came to him and said unto him, What meanest thou? O sleeper, arise, call upon thy God, if so be that God will think upon us that we perish not. And they said every one to his fellow, come and let us cast lots, that we may know for whose cause this ship is upon us. So they cast lots, and the lots fell upon Jonah. Then they said unto him, tell us we pray thee, for whose cause this evil is upon us. That is thine occupation. What is thine occupation? And whence comest thou? What is thy country? And of what people art thou? So it was like Jonah was a strange man in the midst of these people. They said, Where are you coming from? Why are you sleeping? Let's cast lot to see who caused the ship with this mighty tempest. And verse 9, And he said unto them, I am an Hebrew, and I fear the Lord, the God of heaven, which had made the sea and the dry land. Then were the men exceedingly afraid, and said unto him, Why hast thou done this? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of the Lord, because he had told them. He told them that he is the causer of the tempest, the wild tempest that came upon the ship, because he told them that he was running from the presence of the Lord. Then said they unto him, What shall we do unto thee, that the sea may be calm unto us? For the sea wrought and was tempestuous. And he said unto them, Take me up and cast me forth into the sea, so shall the sea be calm unto you. For I know that for my sake this great tempest is upon you. 
Nevertheless, the men rode hard to bring it to the land, but they could not, for the sea wrought and was tempestuous against them. Wherefore they cried unto the Lord and said, We beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee, let us not perish for this man's life, and lay not upon us innocent blood, for thou, O Lord, hast done as it pleased thee. So because of the sake of Jonah, Jonah, who was running away from the presence of the Lord, this great tempest come upon these people in the ship. So Don, Jonah asked them to throw him out of the ship. The ship will come. So they took up Jonah and cast him forth into the sea. And the sea ceased from her raging. <laughs> because of Jonah was in the midst of these people and was running away from the presence of the Lord. This raging was upon these people. But as long as soon as they cast Jonah out of the ship, there was calm. Then the men feared the Lord exceedingly and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord and made vows. When people come to the realization of the mighty hand of God at work, they will fear the Lord. And verse 16 says, Then the people, the men feared the Lord exceedingly and offered a great sacrifice unto the Lord and made vows. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. God is even merciful. He prepared a fish to keep Jonah in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Chapter 2 verse 1. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish belly and said, I cry by reason of my affliction unto the Lord. And he heard me out of the belly of hell. I cried, and thou heardest my voice. Verse 10, And the Lord spake unto the fish, and he vomited out, vomited out Jonah unto the dry land. <laughs> we serve a mighty God, a God who can speak unto fish. Every situation in your life, God will speak to it, and it will vomit you out. It will vomit you out. Chapter 3, And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preachings that I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh according to the word of the Lord to preach to that great city of Nineveh. This is the story of Jonah. I hope you have been blessed with the scriptures. Thank you. For listening to this broadcast. Let's pray. Merciful Father, I thank you for this broadcast. I thank you for giving in your word. Help us not to run away from your word when you speak unto us. Help us not to be disobedient to your word, Lord. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Stay blessed. See Jack. Cheers.